Well, hi there. Until recently, the top scientists in the world thought that the Earth was the center of the universe. And based upon this model, called the geocentric model of the universe, scientists were able to predict the locations of various celestial bodies, like the other planets and the stars, with a high degree of accuracy for over 1,500 years. However, they did find that there were some phenomena that it couldn't explain. And though many improvements were made to the model to make it more accurate, there was some inaccuracy with the model's predictions that they couldn't seem to correct. At some point, a new model of the universe was proposed, which placed the sun at the center of the universe instead of the Earth. This was called the heliocentric model of the universe. And we would probably agree that this is closer to the truth than was the geocentric model. However, at first, this model was less predictive of the locations of the planets and other celestial bodies than was the geocentric model. Over the next 300 years, many changes were made to improve the model's accuracy until it eventually became more predictive than was the geocentric model. As this happened, the geocentric model gradually began to lose favor, and the heliocentric model became the predominantly accepted model. And notice that I used the word accepted and not believed. Many times people have asked me, how can you accept it if you don't believe it? I don't believe it because it isn't the truth. Science is not the truth. Science is a model. Generally, science is a linguistic, mathematical, and often pictorial model of reality that makes accurate predictions about reality. It is also the methodology used to determine if the predictions made by the model are accurate or not. The thing about models is that all models are wrong, but some models are useful. And science is an extremely useful model. Sometimes it is tempting to look back on old disproven models, like the geocentric model of the universe, and feel like it was a failure because it was wrong. This, however, couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, that model was wrong, they all are, but for 1500 years it was making very accurate predictions about reality. It was very useful. And the only reason that we don't use it today is because we have another model that makes even more accurate predictions about the same phenomena as did the geocentric model. There is no way that we would want to throw out a useful model that is making accurate predictions unless we had a better one to replace it. Yes, it was wrong, but all models are wrong. If I had to bet on any model in science being completely accurate or at least a little bit wrong, I would bet everything that I have that it would be at least a little bit wrong. So I don't believe any of it to be absolutely true. But, in many cases, I would fully accept that the current scientific models are the most predictive and useful models that we have. And you better believe I'm going to use them. And now you know. As always, like and subscribe, and we hope to see you real soon.